show We want you to know That it's time to go And join the main Little camp old time variety show Break out that fiddle and bow There will be music, laughter, bad jokes and song You can join in, it's for everyone Come to the main fiddle camp old time variety show Welcome everybody to the main fiddle camp old time variety show kicking off a season here of of shows and I'm Doug Protzik uh, your host and I'm going to introduce my co-host here Glenn Loper howdy Glenn hey that's me hey Doug Man, I'm so happy to be here. This is exciting. We're kicking off our first variety show. We're doing one uh, once a month for seven months, and this is the first one. Going to be some good stuff coming up, I think. That's right. Uh, It'll be leading up to our real Main Fiddle Camp in June, where we'll have real variety shows at Main Fiddle Camp. I know. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. you know, I got to tell you, uh, uh, I've got a bad joke here for you. So, oh, uh, I love bad jokes. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I was traveling in Ireland recently, and I went to one of the worst pubs I've ever been to. It was called The Fiddle, but really, it was a vile inn. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, I was so bad, I could feel that in my stomach. Wow. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I really liked your piano playing, Doug, in, in that in that opening bit there, that segment. I, that was a really fun song to do. Thanks for asking me to do it. Uh, I was watching another piano player, and and uh, he kept on banging his head against the piano. And uh, I asked him, like, you know, why do you keep doing that? Wouldn't it be easier to use your hands? And he said, well, yeah, it's easier, but I'm trying to play by ear. Oh! <laughs> oh! That's a bad joke I've ever heard. That's a bad joke, too. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, we probably should uh, kick things off. I Doug. think I think we should move right on with the show, and we're going to start off with a fabulous virtual ensemble that was created by Noah Fishman uh, from our last June fiddle camp, a uh, virtual fiddle camp that has never been uh, premiered. So here we go wow. with Monsieur Eric Favreau and the Buffleheads. Hey, bonjour, Bufflehead. Hello, everybody. What do you think about play a tune together? And what do you think about play Les Trois Cuistots? Hey, let's go, Bufflehead. Take your violin, take your bow. Attention. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Thank you. 
Les Buffleheads, très bien. Next up, how about an original tune from Molly Goller? And making his variety show debut, the artist known as Micah. Make them feel welcome. Take it away. Hi, Maine Fiddle Camp. It's Molly here and little Micah hey. and Caspian's at school. I have a new waltz. Hey. I call it Hobbs Pond because Elsie and Ethan just moved the tiny house that Elsie built and is still building a little bit more to go um, to a spot called Hobbs Pond. Here it goes. Here's a D note. Bum, 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 da, 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 play that on the fiddle also. And feel free to sing along with me. Molly, that was a really beautiful waltz and some really great dance moves from Micah. Uh, next up, you might know the J.S. Bach piece, Yezu, Joy of Man's Desiring. Well, uh, Ellen Goller, a uh, staff member, wrote a tune to go with it called Ye Some Chai for My Devouring. And then she had the idea to stick in some Irish slip jigs and take it all outside with her excellent youth fill group. So it's the classic story of Germany meets Ireland meets Belgrade, Maine. Please welcome the Pineland Fiddlers.
We've got Cindy LaRock here from Lewiston, Maine, a longtime contra dancer and friend and promoter of traditional music. She's been to fiddle camp and taught dancing. She teaches dancing all over the state, specializes in French-Canadian uh, dances, uh, representing her own heritage. So welcome to uh, Maine Fiddle Camp old-time variety show, Cindy LaRock. Oh, mon plaisir, monsieur. <laughs> all right, Cindy. So, the, the reason you're here is that we, ha you and I, I think, had an exciting collaborative project uh, that we got a grant from uh, M Maine Arts Commission uh, to produce, and it was all your original inspiration, then you reached out to me. So tell us about this, this concept that you came up with. Okay. Uh, little known fact, Maine has a Maine State March, which is called the Dirigo March, it was composed in 1961, but it, and it was selected uh, about eight years ago as the Maine State March by the Maine State Legislature. And it was written by a Franco-American fellow, Leo Pepin in Augusta. And um, so I happened to stumble across it through my uh, affiliation with the, the, the Franco-American archives at Lewis and Auburn College. And I heard it on a recording and said, oh, that's so much fun. That would be so much fun to dance to. And so I uh, decided that uh, when the time was right, we should get it. I should do what I could to get it out to Maine's folk community so everybody could dance to it but not as a marching band piece, as a fiddleized piece. And that's where Doug comes in. Yes, because you proposed to me to, to help, help make this musical dream come alive and connect it up with main fiddle campers and maybe have it become part of the musical tradition. Uh, and so we, we got a grant to do that. Of, and then as part of the bicentennial. As part of the bicentennial. And, uh, and then uh, 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 Maine Public uh, contacted you to do something with Maine Public Television. Tell us about that. Yes, um, the, I got contacted um, because the Maine Statehood Day event, which had been postponed from the actual bicentennial year, um, was going to be done this time, not live, but virtual, because they didn't want to take any chances with the COVID and everything. And they wondered uh, whether we could do something with our Dirigo March musicians. And uh, so, it, it, of course, we, we hadn't been able to do much during COVID to bring people together to play music. But I uh, hit up Doug over the summer and said, hey, Maine Public Broadcasting wants to record this piece. Doug, what do you think? Are we ready to go ahead with it? Well, and I, I thought it was a great idea. And so I said, yes, Cindy, let's do this. Let's, let's assemble a, a group of, of fiddle campers, some of the young fiddlers that, that you've been de helping uh, develop and uh and then some of uh, classic main fiddle campers and uh so we we came up with your vision of a fiddleized version of uh the march in a very collaborative way with everybody involved and main public came out to film it and we at your we house at, right at my place and uh during the course of that uh uh you and don cunningham uh did a little uh, videoing of our a rehearsal before we did that for Maine Public, and uh, so I ended up a video of it, and we're going to present it to the Maine Fiddle Campers right now. So here's the first time they can hear and see uh, the, your vision here for a fiddleized version of Leo Pepin's Durago March. One, two, three, four.
that brings back a fond memory, Cindy. And uh, so uh, thank you so much for appearing. And uh, hey, I think maybe there's might be something in the future more about the Durgo March. You've got another inspiration, I hear. Well, you know, my feet can't stand still when I hear that music. So people should stay tuned for the Dirigo Quadrille. All That's right. all I'm going to say right now. Okay. We're going to get that out there. Thanks again, Cindy. Bye now. Bye-bye. Au revoir. All right. Big thanks to Doug and Cindy. What a cool project. And it was really great to see and hear some familiar camp faces in that video. Uh, next up, we'll head over to Brattleboro, Vermont, to hear an original song from Mayfield camp teacher, Lissa Steckenberger. Take it away, Lissa. Hello, Maine Fiddle Camp. I really miss you. Um, I realize that that is a common theme, but it's still true. <laughs> so um, I have been writing a lot of music. I've been writing lots of tunes, lots of new songs, and I'm going to sing one of those new songs for you. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of um, inspired mm -hmm. by the pandemic and mm -hmm. by missing all of you fine folks. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Still Out There. This year got lost in a bubble, floating out to sea, on the water and untethered, on the current but not free. All of us drifting without time, reaching through the air, always searching, never holding, and pretending to be. Lissa, we miss you too. Uh, if you'd like to hear more from Lissa, she does have a live stream concert coming up on November 21st and some live in-person shows with her band Low Lily that are happening in December. You can check out her website to find more about that. Uh, yeah, a little while ago it was really great hearing that Durgo March that Cindy and Doug and those guys sort of dug up. Uh, our next performer recently won the U.S. Junior Scottish Fiddling Championship and has been involved in his own project researching fiddle tunes from each of the 50 states. You can find tunes from all over the country on his YouTube channel, but today he's going to take us out for a waltz in Arkansas. So take it away, Owen Kennedy. Violet Hensley was born in 1916 on a farm in Arkansas. 
After long days on the farm, she learned how to play the fiddle and make fiddles from her father. Uh, if she wanted her own fiddle, she had to make it herself. When she was 15, she finished making her first fiddle and played for dances. Later, she had nine children, but still fiddled a lot. Uh, she then took fiddle making back up and made 70 plus instruments. She made three recordings, played on TV a lot, and played and danced at her 100th birthday party. Uh, she continued to play for shows, and she is still known as the Stradivarius of the Stradivarius of the Ozarks for her fabulous fiddle playing and making. I'm going to play a tune that she calls Sam Moore Waltz, which I learned from her recording. from you here at the uh, Main Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show. Welcome to a vintage footage episode of Main Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show. And tonight we have a wonderful medley of Downey's fiddle tunes played by Graham Townsend in 1983. Graham was a tremendous influence on us young folks in the early 70s when we first wanted to immerse ourselves in our local region's music, which we characterized as Down East music here in Maine, but really represents a mix of Canadian fiddling, of which Don Messer and Graham Townsend, uh, who worked with Don Messer as a young man uh, in his career, uh, they say he composed over uh, 400 tunes, uh, that he uh, knew 4,000 tunes. So uh, here's a, a little medley of Graham Townsend. See if you can name all of these classic tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi there, we're Tiaka D. We're going to sing you a song and play a tune. Um, booze fighters and shoot that turkey buzzard. Here we go. Come on all you booze fighters if you want to hear About the kind of booze we sell around here It's made way back in the swamps and the hills Where there's plenty of moonshine stills We don't give a dang for the Volstead laws And for prohibition we don't care at all It's made from buckwheat, rye, and corn All bottled up in some barn And the lamb will lay down with the lion after drinking that old moonshine. Tip up your head and take a little drink, then for a week you won't be able to think. The first thing you know you'll be getting kind of tight, out on the street trying to raise a fight. Tip up your head and take a little more, then for a month you'll be feeling kind of sore, then you'll swear you won't drink it anymore. But you've said that a thousand times before. And the lamb will lay down with the lion After drinking that old moonshine. One drop will make a rabbit whoop a bulldog. One drop will make a cat chase a wild hog. Make a bullfrog spit in a black snake's face. Make a hard shell creature fall from grace. And the lamb will lay down with the lion after drinking that old moonshine. <laughs> Yakety. Great harmonies, great tunes, and great tune titles. I hope that turkey buzzer got away okay. Uh, if you're looking for some regular on online events, Pam and Bill have been running a weekly concert and jam session on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you can find that. Um, there was a banjo in that last act. Some places would put a one banjo limit on an event, but not here at the Old Time Variety Show. We say bring them on. And we're really happy that Jennifer Armstrong brought her banjo uh, to share a ballad with us from the British Isles right now. Take it away, Jennifer. Hello, fiddle campers. I'm Jennifer Armstrong. I'll be teaching banjo this, this Saturday. Um, it's hunting season. And it made me think of this song my mother used to sing called Polly Vaughn. So here it is for you on the banjo in double C tuning. Come on, young huntsmen that follow the gun. Beware of shooting at the setting of the sun. Jimmy Randall went hunting and shot in the dark. But oh, and last, Polly Vaughn. Mark. 
Oh, he ran up to her when he saw it was she. His legs, they grew weak, and his eyes scarce could see. He took her in his arms when he found she was dead. A fountain of tears for his true love he shed. She'd her apron wrapped about her, and he took her for a swan. But oh, and alas, it was she, Polly Vaughan. He ran straight home, yes, straight home ran. Polly Vaughn did appear, crying, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, you've nothing to fear. Stay in this country till your trial does come on. You shall not be convicted for what? In the middle of his trial, Polly Vaughn did appear, cried uncle, oh uncle, Jimmy Randall must go clear. The judges and lawyers all stood in a row, Polly Vaughn in the middle, like a mom. So come all you young huntsmen that follow the gun. Beware of shooting at the setting of the sun. Jimmy Randall went to hunting and shot him. Polly Vaughan was his mom. Thank you, Jennifer. I love that minor banjo texture and what a song. If you're ever in a folk song and somebody starts talking about a swan, watch out. Well, uh, next up, we'll take a camper submission from our friend Lewis Eads. He's been a great presence at all of our virtual camps and he's done a few songs for us in the past, uh, usually solo, but today he's gonna be joined by some friends, uh, Rachel Cartwright and Josh Jewell, and they're gonna do a Ralph Stanley song called The Lonesome River. Looking forward to it. Take it away. One, two, three. Well, I sat on a show on the banks of the river, a lonesome wind blowing the water rolls by. Well, I hear. Oh, 
submitted a video for our variety show so Elaine tell us about the video well this video is actually from a camper Kate McCartney she's she loves camp she comes all the time mostly in June and she lives up in Caribou Maine where they grow potatoes they also grow broccoli we don't know any broccoli tunes but we put together a potato medley with three tunes and went around and photographed signs and actual potatoes and we're looking for more if anyone knows of any more potato tunes let me know right a potato tune specialist let's see. we'll yes, hear it from the cappers about all the potato tunes meanwhile let's i look forward to the video so here we go
video editing come about? Well, Kate McCartney did all the photographing and the editing and the videoing and playing the fiddle at the same time. And to bow out, this is a genuine caribou potato. Great. We love our spuds. Woo! Wow. What did you think, Dudley? Yeah, I liked it too. Hey everyone, this is my friend, my pal, uh, Dudley Von Spudley. Uh, yeah, I had no idea you, you had so many friends in the movie industry. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, we've had songs about a few different things. Missing People, Moonshine, Accidentally Shooting Your Own True Love, Lonesome Rivers. You're probably thinking, hey, I could use a good song about a good old New England dance. Well, Ellen Goller has got you covered. Take it away, Ellen. Hi, everyone. I have a little song for you from the poetry of Holman Day, who was a turn-of-the-century poet from Vassalboro, Maine. And it describes a good old-time country dance. And I put it to a little ditty, and it goes something like this. Oregon Dickerson called out the figures with a voice like an ox cart that needed some grease. He and his partner would fiddle the jiggers for supper and a dollar and fifty apiece. There were forty couples out on the floor. There wasn't an inch for anyone more. We did the honors for all three towns at the high old Tuckville Scamper Downs. Yeek, yock, rap for your partner. Yock, yock, woohish interline. Yankity yumpty, yankity yachty for a fife and two fiddles. That music was fine. We pelted the floor, sashayed through the door, balanced our partners and sashayed some more. When we got orders to all hands around, weren't half the girls get their feet on the ground. For rud in back, woo hother to Ella, woo buck into line, balance to grace, clap a hold hands there, swing with your fella, clack click it up along, get into place. And the dust would rise and the lamps they would shake to think that their chimbleys were going to break. For we tended to dancing right up round at the tiled scup, high old tuck fill scamper downs. Squeak, squawk, grab for your partner, squawk, squawk, form onto your set. Hi diddle doody, hi diddle daddy, we swung by the waist in them dances, you bet. There wasn't kid slippers, there wasn't tight boots, there wasn't silk dresses, there wasn't doot suits, there wasn't no banquet, ten dollars for two. Just a big brimming bowl full of hot oyster stew. We dance twenty numbers and all the encores. Get home in the morning about time for the chores. And all the next day the work was like play. The girls doing housework would waltz and sashay. And the boys would astonish the stock in the yard by forgetting and hollering, Hi all promenade! Hi y'all! Ladies to center there, hi y'all! Balance ye all! Woo hish up the middle, bear down on the fiddle. By ginger, twas fun at the Tuckville Grand Ball. All right, thank you, Ellen. Thanks so much for that song. And a big thank you to all of you, everyone who sent in videos. Uh, we're putting together one of these every month now through June, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. So, you know, whatever you want to do, tunes, songs, Dancing, juggling, good jokes, bad jokes, really bad jokes. You know we're going to have some of those. So uh, send that stuff in. Uh, we've got another one coming up right in December. Indeed. And then running all the way through to June leading up to real main fiddle camp. Uh, and, and don't forget that we have workshops going throughout each, each day, second Saturday of every month from now through June. Uh, workshops with almost all of the main fiddle camp instruments that we'll be offering uh, next summer and uh, so be sure to register and join in and uh, support main fiddle camp and spread the word uh, we got plenty of room here at our monthly virtual main fiddle camp uh, but uh, now it's time to move end the show here with a main fiddle camp tradition of ending with a lullaby so uh, Thank you, Glenn. Uh, been a pleasure hosting it with you. Thank all the audience. And now here's uh, Julia Lane and Sharon Pine with tonight's lullaby. Mm -hmm. 